In this short video, we'll look at lag controller design. Uh, we'll use an example to illustrate lag controller design. Here is a plant, g of s equal to 1 divided by s plus 1 divided by s plus 2 divided by s plus 3. So we'll obviously have transient requirements. Uh, so in this case, you're putting transient requirements as time to peak is pi divided by 2 seconds. So lag controller, as I illustrated previously, is similar to PI controller in the, in the sense that it is used to meet steady state error requirements. So here we have uh, steady state error requirements as steady state error should be less than 0.01. The controller has the following transfer function B of S equal to KC times S plus ZC divided by S plus VC. This just looks like the uh, lead controller in this but in this case ZC the magnitude of ZC is greater than PC which means that uh, PC is closer to the imaginary axis as compared to ZC so uh, just like previously we showed this is the uh, root locus of uh, the plant uh, with just the proportional controller so we put in the transient requirements uh, TP equal to pi by 2 the time to peak equal to pi by 2 that gives me omega D is equal to 2 we mark the omega D equal to 2 line and where that intersects the root locus you get the desired closed loop pole location which is 0.7 plus 2.0 I um, then you find the uh, gain in this case the gain is KC which is 1 divided by the magnitude of the plant evaluated as equal to SD which is 14.7. Now let's look at the steady state error. Steady state error is given by E equal to R divided by 1 plus dg. Steady state error is limit as S tends to 0 of S times E. Substitute all the terms here. I put uh, R equal to 1 divided by S because you're looking at step response. R is step. Uh, this is your D here, this portion here, and this is your planned. And if you take the limit, you get ESS is 1 divided by 1 plus 14.7 times ZC divided by PC times 1 divided by 6 is less than 0.01. Now that gives you ZC divided by PC is greater than 40.4. I've uh, arbitrarily chosen a number 50. ZC divided by PC equal to 50. Now I can choose PC. Now PC should be very near the um, imaginary axis so as not to affect the original root locus and if I see, select PC at minus 0 0.0005 you get ZC at minus 0 0.025 these should be relatively close to each other and uh, to, to the far right of uh, the closed loop uh, desired closed loop pole location now what I did was I plotted a couple two compensators in fact um, this is the original P compensated system the green thing that you see is with PC at 0 0.0005 that's a green uh, pole location here and then the red is a lag compensation with PC at 0 0.005 that is uh, somewhere here in the red so this is with this side so as you can see the red is slightly different from the original root locus and the lag compensated with the PC at 0 0.0005 and I looked at the step response of uh, all three so blue is the original step response this is obviously a steady state error the green is the step response with PC equal to 0 0.0005 and the red is lag compensated with 0.005 so you notice that the red uh, goes really fast to the uh, desired uh, uh, output which is one unit step you want the unit step so it goes quickly this is lags quite a lot but uh, on the other hand if you look uh, you zoom in here and look you'll see that the red has significantly more overshoot as compared to the green which kind of closely follows the original um, yeah, the original uh, step step response but then it also eliminates the error so essentially you're paying for what you get so if you want faster response you'll have more overshoot so that's the lesson so that's the end of lag controller design